Okay, looks like my stream is actually working now. As usual, it took me a couple of attempts to make sure we've actually got some, you know, audio, um, visual, yeah, you know, things things that help when one is trying to stream. Welcome to House Flipper. This is a game where you buy derelict houses, uh, paint them, and sell them for profit. Uh, I should thank my brother for accidentally getting me this game. He got me a Humble Bundle subscription. And this is one of the random games that I got off the Humble Bundle. Uh, not sure I'd recommend it to everyone. Um, I've had fun with it, but it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea. If you want a Pomeranian randomly following you around and rolling in the grass, then this is probably a perfect game for you. <laughs> I've got a few of the DLCs. Um, the pets is one of them. There's my husky. There's my rabbit. <laughs> hey, rabbit. Ooh. Ha. So anyway, I'm actually recording with a purpose, which is I want to get some footage for some of the... Um, more arcane and difficult achievements in this game um, which I haven't got yet and I thought you know what I'll just stream while I try and get them uh, where's Huxter's house so I've actually um, completed the game I've bought and sold all available houses uh, the game now lets me purchase them all over again um, just for shits and giggles essentially um, Another way you can make money is doing jobs, and if you're new to the game, you need to do these jobs in order to um, unlock the houses that you can then buy and do it. Um, the House Pets DLC also lets you have um, some extra jobs here on a little map. Again, I've done all of those. So yeah, I'm basically 100% here. Um, anyway, so yes, as I said, I'm looking to do... Uh, Basically, hoover up some um, achievements, ones, ones which I haven't already got because they're harder to find, essentially. Um, this house, Huxter's house, is a uh, Breaking Bad shout-out, I believe. And this is a house where um, there's some glitches and also an Easter egg or two. And, of course, I've already redone it and discovered um, some, some issues with this one. So, let's go back. <laughs> Eh, here we go. So this house, the which I'll just call the Breaking Bad house, um, unfortunately has a rather severe glitch in it, which I've noticed a lot of people online commenting about. And it's to do with the textures in the floor. And this is a particular problem if you have the um, garden DLC, which I do. Remove the top layer, it says. Oh. If, if you try to move these bushes in front of the house, um, it doesn't let you do it, which is unusual. But it's also possible that you can accidentally get rid of one of these and then you'll fall through the world. Because there is a texture issue. I'm seeing if I can trigger it here. Yes, can I sell this door, please? There we go. I don't like the door being there. Let's give it a nice imposing front door. That was an achievement, uh, knock knock. So if you got to get the sledgehammer and knock on the front door with it in this one. Anyway, yes, I'm seeing if I can re-trigger glitch here. Because I'm curious um, what actually sets it off. I've been told it's to do with the textures. 
Or indeed they could have just randomly fixed it. Who knows? That could be a thing. Surfaces. I think. Is it the bark? Oh, that's actually working. Hmm. Odd, the first time I played this I had an awful lot of difficulty with it. I just kept sort of getting stuck falling through the floor. <laughs> yeah, really don't like these bushes. Want to get rid of them. Anyway, so I can't seem to trigger it at the moment. I'm not sure what sets it off, but it's a common glitch for this that you just fall through the world. Um, due to some sort of issue with the floor round about here and especially under this bush which you can't normally remove but I have been known to remove it before now. I can't can't use the demolition on the bush. Anyway, it's an issue that a lot of players come across and they might have fixed it because usually doing that's a bad idea. <laughs> And that was the knock-knock achievement where you use the sledgehammer on the door. <laughs> There's another secret in this house. Hey! I think we may have found a uh, stash of cash. Thank you. Oh, there. <laughs> well, there we had it. Yeah, and this will continue happening. The fall through the world glitch. So for some reason that wasn't triggering before, but it is now. And yeah, this is uh, unique to this house. You don't have to worry about it happening on the other houses, but there you go. Got it working there. So this seems to occur if you've messed around with the floor textures in any way, which you saw me doing earlier. I think if you absolutely leave everything alone on this outside thing, you're not going to have that problem. But if you mess around with the um, graveling and stuff like that, you're going to trigger this glitch. Here it is. And like I said, um, this is the only property where you have to worry about this being an issue. So I just thought I'd show that because you, you find a lot of people asking online, oh my god, I fell through the floor, what's that about? And the answer is, is it the hookster's house? Because this is the one that unfortunately does have this issue. There's nothing you can do to fix it as far as I know, but I think you can avoid it entirely just by not touching any of the landscaping. So if you were trying to make a garden in this um, house, uh, don't try that. It's a, it's a bad idea. I wonder if I put down some sand or something, if I can fix it. Let's, let's try. <laughs> for some reason, it's very, very finicky about what it lets you lay down. This this house um, wasn't meant for the garden DLC. It predates it. So that probably explains why there's a, some sort of incompatibility issue. No, that didn't work either. What if I put down a slab? I don't believe there's any way to correct this once it's happened, so... Let's have a look. Doesn't let me even lay it down. See, there's no reason why I couldn't lay down this slab here under normal circumstances. So yeah, this is uh, just a, a unique, unique problem with this house. And I believe it is caused by the fact that it predates the garden DLC, which lets you do the landscaping and it's just not compatible. This is the only house I know of with this particular glitch. I don't think it's fixable, unfortunately. So if you do want to avoid it, just do not touch any of the landscaping. Anyway, that's what I wanted to demonstrate for this particular house. 
So we'll head back to my delightful office. I'll check on how my stream is doing because OBS doesn't like me. <laughs> is this a finished game? Um, yes, it is a finished game. <laughs> Um, I'm deliberately showing off the boogie part there, <laughs> to, to be fair to it. <laughs> uh, that's the only property with that issue. So. <laughs> now I'm going to go find um, an, a house I can sell to the really finicky buyer who's the college student with a very low budget. Um, there's a whole bunch of buyers in this game and there's an achievement for selling a house to every one of them. And unfortunately, the buyer system isn't particularly well balanced. One of the buyers is almost impossible to sell to. He's Choi, I think his name is. And basically because um, he has some specific needs, but he's absolutely outbid by everyone all the time. And it's actually really difficult to get it so that the other buyers essentially reject the house, which leaves him then able to get a look in because otherwise he can't. <laughs> Another unintentional glitch as I um, roll around my dog there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yes, anyhow, let me check up on my buyers. Here they are. So Chang Choi, 20 years old, student, thinks only about his studies. And I went through the whole game not able to buy to this guy because um, the almost the only house he can actually buy is the first office. And of course, I sold my first office without knowing a thing about the game's mechanics. And then I discovered that it was basically impossible to sell a house to this guy because all the other houses are too expensive for him, which is really irritating. So I had to literally complete the game before I could go back and sell a house to this guy. And again, online, a lot of people say, how on earth do I sell a house to Chang Choi? Because he will be consistently outbid by everyone else. Well, the answer is it's definitely impossible to sell a house to him that's of a, uh, over a certain size because the Smoths and the Jansen family, um, they basically go off the size of the house of square footage. They aren't interested in small houses, but the big houses, they'll be all over them. And Choi just absolutely can't compete with them so the only opportunity you have is with these very early um, starter houses which more often than not you've probably already sold which leaves you with nothing to um, then sell him with when you're actively trying to hunt for the achievement of selling to every single buyer <laughs> so this is the second smallest house i've already sold the smallest smallest house to him so for I'm now going to see if it's possible to sell this house to him as well. And I believe it should be possible, although surprisingly more difficult than you might think. And to make sure that none of the other buyers are trying to get in, I'm kind of avoiding cleaning the house too much, which sounds absolutely insane. But basically, I want to keep the price of the house extremely low. I'm getting rid of that cobweb just because it irritates me. <laughs> this messes with my OCD. <laughs> anyway, as you can see um, from the um, left hand side of the screen, if I were to sell the house right now, it would go to the older couple. And Chang Choi isn't even on here because I haven't even put a desk down yet, but we're kind of off to a bad start. <laughs> So my um, ambition here is to sell to Troy. And I'm going to have to start with a desk and a bed because those are what he absolutely demands. And the problem is that, um, what's his name? Dolan Trusk is also very big on offices. And to keep, um, what's it, Trask away, you should go with cheaper furniture because he doesn't like cheap furniture, whereas Troy really doesn't care. So... It's like it's surprisingly difficult to sell to this one guy. <laughs> you have to actively fend off everyone else before it's achievable. <laughs> so back to the office. 
uh, armchairs desks. So another issue with this game that um, newer players are often asking about is how do I make an office an actual office? And the answer is um, the game's a bit finicky about names. If it says office chair and it's above a certain value, the game thinks that yes, that is an office chair. But you see, if you were used use this armchair, it's not called an office chair. It, the game probably wouldn't accept that as an office chair and this wouldn't consider the room to be an office. And even if you got an office chair, as described here, woody office chair, I believe that chair is too cheap to count as an office chair. So that makes that really misleading. So it's really no um, surprise that people get so confused about this. It's, it's a questionable design choice. <laughs> so yeah. Each room type you can see in the um, right hand uh, right hand corner of the screen. It's calling this a corridor at the moment because there's um, no furniture to sort of distinguish what kind of room this is meant to be. And the buyers pay attention to which rooms and how many types of rooms there are in the house. So I'm going to put down um, some other things that will hopefully make this more office like for I think it needs a rug. And probably going to keep it cheapish. And it definitely needs a um, bookshelf. And has to be a bookshelf, not a shelf. Again, with the office chair thing, bookshelves have to be explicitly bookshelves. It's not going to accept any old um, thing. So this is called a bookcase. This is fine. But if it's just um, a warehouse rack, that's probably not going to count. And the game isn't even consistent on what it does and doesn't count. But um, basically, that's the uh, vague rule we've got here. <laughs> It's not usually this annoying, I should say, if you're just playing the game casually, but if you're um, trying to go for very, something very specific, as I am here, then it gets annoying. So let's see if I can make this a desk. And sometimes it'll just plain um, bug out and refuse to um, accept anything. It happens. <laughs> now then, why are you not an office? got a feeling I might have to use a different desk. Yep, sometimes it just doesn't cooperate. You think you've done everything right and it's like, no, no, you haven't. <laughs> uh, let me see. Try the corner desk. Making a liar out of me game. <laughs> Furniture, office, armchairs. Still doesn't like it. Hmm. Sometimes you just gotta keep doing it until it works. Anyway, I don't think it actually needs to be called an office for um, Choi Chang to accept it. He just wants basically a desk, a bookcase and a bed. And everything else you can do without. Dog, you're in the way. Stop following me. Come out here. Dogs are very realistic. They will follow you, get in the way, and block the door. Anyway. <laughs> Let me just get rid of that. Right, notice everyone um, re reassorting themselves on the left side. So Chang Choi is now interested. He's got a desk next to his bed. And unfortunately, the old couple are still going to outbid him. Uh, that's a fairly common situation, sadly, even on a really small house like this one. So let's have a look, see what do they hate? Jantart family, quite annoying. They do like to um, buy a lot of houses. As you can see, I've sold a lot of houses to these people because um, smaller houses with just like a um, living room and a bedroom, they tend to go for those single bedroom houses and tend to outbid everyone else on those. 
So I've deliberately not cleaned up because they don't like dirt. No kitchen. I'm just checking on their known dislikes. If there's something I can add in here that will chase them away. See, they like pictures and rugs a lot. So what if I get rid of that? This is why Choi is so hard to sell to. Like, I haven't cleaned anything. The place is an absolute tip. All it has is... <laughs> and they still want it more than he does. <laughs> I, I think Chang Choi's problem is he's just too cheap. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me think. What can I get rid of? This is why online guides say that the first office is possibly the only house you can sell to this guy. It's just too difficult trying anything else. Well, I'm going to I'm going to have a go. I don't think the Jan Tarts would like that style of bed. So, if I get rid of that, hmm. go very minimalist get rid of things see what happens on the left side as they reassort themselves no change well, there we go we do have a change uh, hmm. I'm thinking maybe metal. I've got the feeling that the Jan Tarts don't like metal very much. Well, that's not really metal, but let's see. Getting rid of the Jan Tarts, the game. Maybe if I should go for something a bit more modern. Um, buyers also pay attention to whether your furniture is wooden or not, if it's a modern style or if it's a country style. So Choi likes this, unfortunately so do the Jan Tarts. Now, what if I try with the electronic things? <laughs> I'm like, go away, old couple. How could I possibly make this house less attractive? It's horrible. <laughs> But yeah, this is why people have a lot of difficulty selling to Chang Choi. <laughs> right. That's an idea. What if I just put a gun on the wall? Yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, not interested, okay. How about an M6 rifle? Yep. Nope, old couple are not bothered by the fact their grandkids are going to be playing around an M6 rifle. All right, then, I'm doing my best here. I'm like, how can I make this place as an un-grandkid friendly as I can? <laughs> All right, come on, guys. <laughs> okay. How about a bunk bed? Nice, attractive bunk bed. 
Get rid of that one. You have a bunk bed instead. That nope, bunk bed's still alright with you, old couple. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, reinforced door. That's what I'm talking about. That's a proper door. Put that there. Much better. I wonder... I'm determined not to sell this house to that bloody old couple. There we go. <laughs> so, um, you may have wondered how on earth Madge did knocking that wall down suddenly get you what you wanted. It's because I've now reduced the number of rooms. And this is why I've said with the larger houses it is outright impossible to sell to Chang Choi. It's because um, the square footage and number of rooms just completely rules him out. Um, as you can see, the Jan Tarts, the Smoths, and the Jansons, they all want houses with, um, you know, larger, more rooms, and Choi just doesn't get a look in. So the only time you can sell to Choi is with these smaller houses. <laughs> and there you go. Reducing from three rooms to two was the crucial ingredient there. And Chang Choi is now at the top of our buyers list, which is a rare, rare sight. <laughs> and you know what? I'm, I'm afraid to even put anything else down because um, once you have Chang Choi at the top, stop. Don't do anything else. Do not clean anything for sure, because if you clean anything, the old couple will come back, I swear. <laughs> Um, one thing I can do, because of course this house isn't probably going to sell for much, is I could do the garden. Um, I've got the garden DLC, so I could do some gardening. Where's my... Where's my axe? For some reason I don't like this tree being here. Yeah! Get out of here. There we go. <laughs> um... But since Chang Choi's budget is so low, I feel that any um, effort spent on the garden is going to waste. In any case, I wanted to show that it's possible to sell to Chang Choi, albeit with a lot of inconvenience. That was inconvenient. <laughs> and the house is complete crap. There we go, and I can't even make a profit on it. <laughs> that, that's just, it's just what you got to accept. <laughs> you just got to accept it. <laughs> but there you go, that's the most difficult buyer to sell to for like all the wrong reasons. It's just... Um, they, they didn't balance that quite right. 